It was a very exciting night in the NFL with lots of games going across the Commonwealth. Lots to talk about. In fact, our Mike Madri has a very exciting night in sports. Mike, what was the NFL like this weekend? If there's a main topic to talk about, one thing about wrapping up this week, it's that the Texans and Falcons both look good. The debate for the best team in the NFL is certainly up in a heavily debated issue for many NFL fans across the league. We first start off with the Texans, who show no mercy on the Jets, and then there's the Atlanta Falcons, who knocked off Robert Griffin III out of the game. The Falcons won 27-24, and with the victory for both teams, they fall to a 4-0 record as they reach undefeated statuses heading into Week 6. If the Canadian Football League is looking for a running back, tell them to give the Titans Chris Johnson a call. The running back who rushed for 1,000 yards just a few seasons ago is struggling to say the wheat least. This week, Johnson and the Titans lost 30-7 to against the Vikings and on 15 carries, Johnson only rushed for 25 yards. This season, Johnson has 210 yards on 73 carries and is averaging just 2 yards a carry this season. The criticism seems to keep going up for Johnson. Now time for our Cube Sports Weekly Wrap-Up. Robert Griffin got knocked out of his game, throwing for 92 yards as the Redskins suffered a defeat at the hands of the undefeated Falcons 27-24. More to come on Griffin in a little bit. A week after finding out Colts coach Chuck Pagano has been diagnosed with leukemia, they made their coach proud. Playing Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, Colts quarterback Andrew Luck made a statement letting people know why he was the number one overall pick, and Luck showed heart. Down 21-3 in the second half. Luck put on a show in front of his home crowd. He threw for 362 yards as he showed he is the real deal. He pulled off a late comeback win against the Packers as Mason Crosby unable to kick a game-tying 51-yard field goal. Colts made Chuck Pagano proud, winning 30-27. Always said from the get-go, I like Robert Griffin III, but I'll take Andrew Luck any day. That's just me, though. After the Giants game, Michael Vick said he knows how to protect the football when he needs to. That theory was proven false on Sunday. The handful of Eagles fans I've talked to are concerned, to say the least, about Michael Vick's turnover issues. The Eagles were about to punch the ball in for a late touchdown with Michael Vick performing the quarterback sneak, but in Vick lost the ball and the Steelers recovered in the end zone, and the game wasn't all high scoring after all. That hurt the Eagles' chance to win the game as Big Ben found himself with a chance to win the game with three minutes left in front of a uh, home crowd. Roethlisberger, as clutch as you come, not on Eli Manning's level yet, though. But nevertheless, Roethlisberger got the job done. Steelers win 14-13 on the last second field goal. Vic turns the ball over twice in this game, and he is on the hot seat to say the, to say the least. Eagles fans, none too pleased. Some quick notes to wrap up Week 5. Drew Brees, as we mentioned him on the show last week as leading the Saints to a so far disappointing season, he clinched his first win of the season against San Diego. If it wasn't for the roughing a passer call against the Chargers, they would have lost the game. However, not to mention Brees broke John Unites' five-decade-long record of 48 consecutive games with a touchdown. Now time for our Cube Sports injury watch. It looks as though Robert Griffin will be good to go next week against the Vikings. He still has to pass the NFL concussion test, but all signs point to good for the rookie. Chiefs quarterback Matt Castle, doubtful next week after being knocked out of his game against the Ravens with a concussion. It may be Brady Quinn who starts for the Chiefs against the Bucks. The Giants are still missing their number one receiver, Nakeem Nix. It's been three weeks since Nix has played, suffering from a knee injury. His situation is still questionable, but he isn't practicing, and I don't expect him to play against the 49ers next week. Switching gears to the NHL, those sides are very far apart, and there's little doubt the NHL and the Players Association will strike up a deal anytime soon. Some NHL players, including Rick Nash, Ilya Kovalchuk, and Evander Kane, are already playing in other leagues overseas. The Devils suspected captain Ilya Kovalchuk recorded a hat trick in his second league game playing over in Russia. Never get the chance to talk baseball here, so Cube Sports minus will wrap things up right now as the divisional series kicked off the American League. The Orioles reached the postseason for the first time since 97. They take on the New York Yankees. More matchups. The Detroit Tigers take on the surprising AL West winning Oakland Athletics in the National League. It's the Nats going against the Cardinals and the Reds take on the Giants. All game, five game series in the MLB for right now. That's all we have for this week's edition of Madry's Corner. Like always, make sure to search Mike Madry NFL Wrap-Up on YouTube to see our latest and most recent videos. And as always, check every Tuesday for a new edition of Madry Cube Sports. With the Zern TV, I'm Mike Madry. Now back to the desk with our Cube Sports anchors.